Now something also to consider, because the triangles are very exciting and people like triangles a lot, just be very aware that, you know, it's a lot of stress on your back, right? You become very proficient at triangles and you're just always triangle, triangle, triangle. And it's just a matter of time. If you catch 100 triangles, how, or you go for 100 triangles, how many times are you getting stacked? Without the, the, the best training, you're getting stacked no, but no, more saying, than half. No, I'm saying in the natural learning curve. More than half. People are they're getting the best training, but they're not black belts at these triangle prevention skills. Stack prevention. Shoulder walking, hand fighting. So you're going to get stacked a fair amount of times, and it's just not ideal. It just, it's important for you to be aware of when to let go of the triangle and when to keep fighting for it. Sometimes you're fighting for a triangle, everything's going good, and you're, you got it 80, 90% locked up, and a, a stack starts to happen, and you're being stacked now 60, 70, 80%. There's a moment to say, oh, release the triangle, allow the guard pass. But it's difficult because you're so close yes, it's to the very glory. Tough. It tastes so good, it feels so good, and then you keep fighting for it, and then before you know it, you're getting stacked full stack, and now them tapping or you tapping like both are, are so possible. So bad. Like I've had at least a good 10, 15 battles where I fought for the triangle to the death and then after I tapped the person but my neck and my back were hurt for three days, five days, 10 days. No, it's number one. Number one injury in my jujitsu. Well, my back I've injured from a lot of stacking up. But even individual injuries, neck, right, back, more injuries have come from stacking up, getting stacked and not respecting it than any other incident in jiu-jitsu. Wow. So that's fair to say this is the most compromising activity in jiu-jitsu is going for a submission and getting stacked up on your neck. There you go. So when, you, when I see like kids who are like coming up 17, 18, 19, 20, who are getting stacked into oblivion and allowing it to happen, all I'm thinking is, man, it's gonna, it adds up. All that compression on your spine and your discs adds up and then eventually it herniates the disc yeah. and then you have to have surgery, corrective surgery, and you're never the same, right? So I've experienced and all of that. I do so much stacking, I, so many triangles that I've been, I've stacked so many people, and I, I bait the triangle, and they go for the triangle and I stack, and I have to tell more than half of the people out there, I have to say, hey, let go. I'm gonna break your In neck In the right middle now. of the stack, I'm like, hey, release the triangle. He's helping them by telling them. I know that there's no way they're gonna finish it, but they're still going for it because they have their legs somewhat near full lockup. And because I haven't put the full pressure on yet. So I have to say, let go, let go. After two, three times, they eventually release. So just be very protective. And there's also like the, the what does this mean? Not go for triangles? Well, no, no, it, it means, means go for them. And then you have a certain threshold in the stack that if you don't prevent the stack, you wanna prevent the stack and there's, Gracie University, Master Cycle, BBS 2, 3, 4 lessons where we discuss how to stop the stack. But if you can't prevent the stack, once you pass 70, 80%, you have to let go. You have to know when to move on, as Shay says, yes. 100%. And you have to just know, you have to have a line you, that you don't cross. You guys, this exercise right here, every single time you do triangles, you have to do that exercise right there. You it's have the to opposite. do that extension 5, 10, 15 times. You have to do that because you have to get extension as in the triangle and in the stack, we're doing flexion. This is the flexion. And too much flexion creates an imbalance in the muscles, Fact. in your body, and then before you know it, boom, something gives. Fact. You wanna train Jiu Jitsu for the next 45 years? Go for triangles, but like he said, let go. Be a master of detecting when to release. Bro, that's the most important lesson of the day. Have your threshold, don't cross the line when it comes to stacking. One oh. stack too deep. You're gonna feel it for weeks, no months. And it the, could be three, six months where you feel neck pain from getting stacked up too much, and which the, is not worth it. And the person who's doing the stacking, mm. there's also a consideration there, right? Oh yeah, let's, let's not be, let's try not to be the people in this room, let's try not to be the people who are responsible for someone else's well, neck, neck injury for six months. If well, you're stacking yeah. someone and you know they're not letting go, it's almost like you gotta tell them, say, hey bro, I don't wanna keep hurting your neck, so there's this fine well, line of communication. It becomes very tricky because then, I'm, I'm getting triangled. And when I'm getting triangled, I'm, trying to survive. I'm being attacked. So I'm trying to protect my neck and I run forward. And for me to stack you and tapping out is such a bad thing. It's such a bad thing that people just don't want to be tapped out ever. So that when they're stacking, and it's I said, not a bad thing. People think I it's know, a bad thing. I'm, 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 you gotta, I know, but you gotta tell them that. Just I know, I'm gonna get there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. My point is, it's so bad that when you stack somebody 70, 80% and they don't let go, for you to stop, tap out and say, hey, you know what? I was gonna stack you all the way. I could have stacked you further, but I didn't want to hurt you. How do you people respond to that? They're yeah, like, yeah, right, right. I had you right shut there, up, I got yeah. you. So it's such a funny business that we're in of grappling and not losing and wanting to win. 
that it's almost <laughs> like don't even say anything. That's true. Because they can't hear. I was gonna, because the, the thing is this. I know for certain, even if you're gonna get past choked out, you can always run over the person's neck. There is, if anybody tells me, he don't, I could have stacked him further, but I didn't want to, I will always believe that person. Mm. Because a triangle is a choke. It's a gradual so loss of consciousness. You can always run them forward seven more inches Freaking in an attempt to Plow crank over, their yeah. neck. So that will never be seen as like, oh, yeah, right, you just tapped because you didn't know how to escape. You can always hurt the person to escape, but what he's saying is that, and back to the, the comment that I made that tapping is so bad, it's not. You know, it's tap out, and take note that this person that you went with right now, they are so, they care so much about beating you that they were willing to compromise their neck 